Hey, how's it going, Floor Gang? My name is Mark. Today I'm going to be doing a session breakdown of Adore You, and let's get right into the video. So, here it is. This is the Garage Band session breakdown of Adore You. I'm not sure where to start, but. I'm thinking we should start as usual with the drums. So, I'm using Sunset Drums, and the pattern goes like this. Yeah, it's just very simple. It works, but it's like simple. Where you have a very simple drum line. See? When you have like a open hi hat at the. Okay, maybe like the three, like the end of three or something like that. I don't know how to count, but I know how it works. Like the sixteen notes, like eight notes. I don't know it makes so fetch, so I'm not sure what this is. It's just very simple. Like and I'm not sure I can load the drum groove. Yeah, that's it. Just have sixteen notes and then you have the so I use beat synchronizers, I think most people use it. And then you have a little bit Gotcha. So when I get to like the, from the transition to from the pre-chorus to the chorus part, you would have this little fill, and then like two eight notes, and then a crash like this, See? and then we go back to the groove. But here's the thing: this is a common programming thing. You would have the closed hi hat and the open hi hat played at the same time. Doesn't sound like a real drummer to me. Doesn't sound normal because that's played at the same time. But I don't know. If you can tell the difference. The difference is like minimal. <laughs> it's just very minimal. I have the same thing here. I'm trying to find like a part where you can really enjoy. Oh, there it is. That's the big feel. If you watched my 10,000 hours cover, I have it at the link below and also at the card. You would hear a similar drum feel. It's basically this. <laughs> It's just like 16 notes, but I have like I start in the snare and then like high, mid, low. That's basically what it is. Yeah, and then a big, big crash, and that's pretty much it. I'll show you how it's running. So I panned it to the left. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. I bumped the EQ a little bit. That's my EQ settings. Mm, I did have some compression. Not that much. And then some echo reverb with the ambience ones. And that's pretty much it for the drums. Although there's more, so I'll show you that. I think that's the clap. Yeah, that's just the clap. Nothing strange about that. See? Just some compression, then... Oh! I did have overdrive. There's like some overdrive in there. I kept the tone to be max and the output is like negative 3 decibels. I pan it to the left, but it's like clashing with the drums. Look at that. You see? They're the same one. Next is these merge tracks, which I'll show you what it looks like before. So now you get a much better look of how it is beforehand. You have this. That's the tambourine. I also have the, some more here. But if you watch my original cover, 
which I'll link at the card at the right and also in the description. But here I have this, which is the open hi hat. Yeah, the open hi hat. So when you're looking at the record, I actually merge them to it so it would be audio files so I can do a lot more of it because if you try to do it in MIDI then you just have the same sound but it's just in a different pattern whereas in audio tracks you can't do much and you can just do reverse and it sounds like this Everyone uses this instead of the fill and we're done with that. Let's start with the guitars. So I have a lot of guitars. Yep. And let's start here. So one is playing B flat. I don't know what pattern I'm doing here. And then one is playing a C. With different waveforms, I don't know why. I think they're the same here, right? I think they're different. Oops, I played the audio, but, but yeah, they're the same here. I think this is the same, right? No, different. Let's just do the rhythm guitars. So I have three of them. Two different amps. And they, here's how they sound together. Let's distort the sound of the Bohemian walk. And then here's the last one. I don't think I played the best with it, but that's what you're hearing. Let's do the vocals. Which what I did is I just copy and paste the vocals and then chop them so you have like this kind of quality which what I did is I pan them and then use the vocal transformer and I flip the format to minus 8 I was trying to distort them basically or even this which is um Yeah, use distortion. <laughs> distortion when you're trying to like hear the vocals. Look at this. Like a seal. Ditch that. Like a seal. I can't play the entire audio because the video got demonetized. No mal. I'll show you the vocal settings. I don't know. I don't think there's much. Oh yeah, I did the fake low, fake low. That's just my feet. The fake low pass filter, where you will round up the low end so you can hear the bass, which I'll get to later. Let's do bass, which I decided to use the Liverpool bass. Which is like a violin style bass, you know, like the Hoffner bass. Here's how it sounds. Uh, I don't like this bass line. I found it not groovy. I don't think I found it really groovy. close to it ok 
Okay, so I did some movie parts along the line, but yeah, I don't think it's as groovy as my other ones. Let's go to the Sins, which I did put a lot of time on. It sounds like this. So you're hearing the Dusty Records send and oh yeah, this is not a how to make music channel, which <laughs> uh, I use the send. Okay, I just do some modulation. Like I just use the preset, and that's all I do. That's really cool. And I'll show you the other sense. This scent is so good. I love it. What this is is a uh, scarlet. And I just love the sound of a scarlet. So what I did is I did it somewhat more towards the deep chord because I like the sound that scent is really good and then this other scent this is a cosmic boys choir but it doesn't sound like a boys choir see here this Turn louder. It's like airy, but then the whole thing is synthesized. I try my best though. See? Because I was trying to do a Jacob Collider style choir, but I don't think I'm a good singer. <laughs> Sorry, but let's get back to being automated. Bam. Ta. And then here's the Scarlet again. And here's all the sounds. I should have rolled the chords because these are so amazing. You know what? I'll show you the guitar solo. I don't know what I covered. But let's go to the guitar solo. Oh yeah, when played it so it doesn't sound great. Because I don't have the like the skills of a pro. I'm getting better, but this song is very much similar to the original song Adore You and like when you hear like the end part. This is like a similar solo. And I try to do that, but yeah. The final soul is much better. Here. Oh my goodness, I tried to do like a insane shred where you, when I'm just like going up the scale but look at this <laughs> There's like this line that I 
cut off that I couldn't play. And to be honest here, this solo just made me be a better guitar player than I actually am. It almost sounds like a... Uh, I'll show you with the guitar. <laughs> Okay, this one's a little bit off this part. Original. You see, it's like when you look on the grid, you see it's like so itty bitty off the grid. But that's so low. It's so worth it. I prefer it over this. This that sounds way better. And then here's this FX thing. Which which I usually do just filter and stuff like here. Yeah, that's basically what I do. Oh yeah, this one I did the uh, more creative. You see, I will try to just do this. So I don't get demonetized. You see, it's really, really cool. I'm not sure if I covered every. Thing. Okay, I think I did cover the whole thing. Transition. Thank you guys for reaching the end of the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please turn on notifications. Please comment or suggestions you want to see more covers like this. I have a card right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.